Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at Blake Snyder's 10 genres. He tried to find a structure by which all stories are told within these groups, similar to maybe how Joseph Campbell came up with The Hero's Journey. He thought there were seven, or sorry, 10 different stories by which all uh, tales are told. And his 10 are Monster in the House, Golden Fleece, Person with a Problem, Superhero, Rites of Passage, Buddy Love slash Romance Story, Full Triumphant, Why Done It, Out of the Bottle, and Institutionalized. Monster in the House is the first category, and he believes each of these different genres have three elements, three ingredients that go into them. For something to be considered monster in the house, it must have a monster, a house, and a sin. The monster is evil brought into the world, whether it is a person, creature, or anthropomorphized object. A house uh, is a space in which the characters are confined, whether it is a home, city, or realm, so it can be a metaphorical house. And there is a sin. Usually someone tempts fate or violates some code, which brings the monster. At the bottom, you will see several examples of this category. The next is Golden Fleece, which has the three elements, road, team, and prize. The road is some path or destination that must be reached. It could be anything from a cross-country trip to an oceanic voyage, or even making it out of a convenience store. The team is typically uh, a buddy and more, or uh, several buddies, who have complementary personalities, often the comedic relief if the main character is serious. A prize that is at the end is at the end of the destination. It may be a made up prize like a MacGuffin. However, it's often an emotionally deep motive like reaching home or a loved one. Person with a problem has the elements of innocent hero, sudden event in life or death battle. An innocent hero is suddenly involved in a problem without their desire to be. There's a sudden event that changes the world around them and brings the innocent hero into the crisis. And there's a life or death battle in which everything is at stake, whether it is a person, family, town, or world. Superhero. The three elements of a superhero are power, nemesis, and curse. The power, the hero has some power, whether it is a superpower or simply a great personality or initiative. Nemesis, the hero has a nemesis who is the hero's rival, who is usually bitter and they are self-made. They are typically better equipped or more skilled than the superhero. Curse, there is a price that must be paid, which the superhero either overcomes or is defeated by. Rites of passage, a life problem, a wrong way in acceptance. The life problem, a person is facing a stage of life trial, like coming of age, marriage, landing the job, overcoming illness. The character has to overcome their flaw, which is holding them back, and then to accept it uh, is the only way path in, in path forward, uh, overcoming their failures or flaws, adapting to the situation is necessary. Buddy love slash romance story. There's an incomplete hero who needs a counterpart or something to fill their void. The counterpart who often has the opposite traits, one who would complement the incomplete hero and a complication. Something gets in between the incomplete hero and the counterpart, a difference in personalities, a moral judgment, a fear of what society will think. Fool triumphant has a fool, an establishment and a transmutation. The fool is an innocent and is, somewhat fum and is somewhat fumbling through their objective. They often, uh, often their innocent protect, innocence protects them. Uh, an establishment is a place where the fool does not fit in. They are an outsider in the new world and a transmutation occurs. The fool is able to navigate the new world with success, triumphing, triumphing unexpectedly over the challenges. Still innocent at heart, but, un but aware of the world more. Why done it? There's a detective, a secret, and a dark turn. The detective is a rather static character already able to navigate the underworld or treachery, whether they are a novice, veteran, or cartoon. The secret is primal and deviously alluring. 
uh, so much so that we have to know it at all costs, even without rewards of fame, money, or pleasure. It becomes an obsession. The dark turn, the detective is willing to break their own code of ethics in order to get to the bottom and the why of the secret. Out of the bottle contains a wish, a spell, and a lesson. The hero wishes their life was different without realizing how lucky they already are. A spell is fulfilled by the wish, which has some set of rules which outline the conditions, and the lesson is an ironic twist to the wish being granted, often at the expense of the hero who learns their life was good enough before, like the monkey's paw, uh, or the examples below. Institutionalize a group, a choice, and a sacrifice. A specific group uh, is in which the story takes place, whether it's a family, town, or a company. Uh, usually the hero continues to choose to conflict with the group or a representative of the group, and they butt heads throughout the, 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 the story's plot. Sacrifice, something has to give, and the hero either dies, destroys the group, or commits a symbolic or literal suicide. And that is the examples of Blake Snyder's 10 genres. Hey!